So I think it's ironic that the tagline of the poster of this movie says this is not a fairy tale. But for those who know, fairy tales like the Disney movies were actually taken from the Grimm Brothers books which were actually made as cautionary tales for children and probably adults too because they dealt with some really dark subject matter. Like in Cinderella, one of the stepsisters actually cuts off her toes to try to fit her foot into the shoe. So yeah, sorry for putting that mental image in your heads. The point I'm trying to make is that fairy tales weren't meant to be Disney-fied. They were meant to be pretty dark and gritty. So this is actually going back to what it was meant to be. So this is a movie that came out on Netflix around a week ago starring Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things. So I'm wearing my shirt in appreciation. So it's a fantasy action adventure type movie. So this movie aims to subvert fairy tale tropes, which could have been an interesting idea to explore if this movie wasn't so politicized. So it's gotten caught up in the great culture war that we're in. And there's people saying it's really feminist and the lead characters are Mary Sue. And then there's the other side. And look, I just think you should take it at face value. This is a movie if you go into it and turn your brain off and just enjoy it for what it is. Cheesy popcorn throwaway fun. This is a movie I'm not going to remember too much a month from now, probably a week from now. But at face value... It's okay. Look, does Millie Bobby Brown's character, Elodie, do things she shouldn't be able to do? Absolutely, yes. But you could say that about a lot of fantasy movies. And it does make many into caricatures, caricatures. I can never say that word. You know what I'm talking about. It makes them one-dimensional where the women characters do feel like they're fleshed out more. I will say that. And every male character does feel like he's cartoonishly evil and he should be twirling his moustache while, like, tying a woman to the train tracks, you know, that sort of thing. There's the prince who Elodie marries, played by Nick Robinson, who is so perfect for the role. I thought he was great in Jurassic World and he just has that Prince Charming look to him, you know, so... He tosses Elodie into the dragon pit and then there's the father that sells her knowing what's going to happen and they later on come to regret their decisions but still don't really do too much about it and it just feels like it is trying to send a message and then there's the fact that the medieval village in a European looking city is extremely multicultural but you know what? It's not in your face, like, in a way that takes away from the movie, like, Rings of Power. It's not a Ray Skywalker situation, you know? It would have been nice if it was a positive portrayal of strong femininity, like Buffy. She's a great example of a strong female character. Or Emma from Once Upon a Time, if you haven't seen it, that's such a great fairy tale show that does subvert those fairy tales and make them more catering to an adult audience. And Emma is this mother who is fighting for her child and her family and she is very strong, but also shows weakness. She shows that she needs help on her journey. She needs other people. And she has both kindness and strength because those two things, you know, they shouldn't be mutually exclusive. And she doesn't put men down to try to lift herself up, which is one of the main problems I had with this movie. One of the little nitpicks I had when it comes to the dragon is that the CGI looked okay, but it wasn't intimidating. It didn't look like something that you should be scared of, and it would have been cool if there was an actual intimidation factor with this, like the Hobbit movies with Smog. The voice alone was really creepy and the voice of this dragon, when I first heard it, it made me laugh. <laughs> I feel like Smog is a great example of a dragon that was actually truly intimidating. A lot of people don't like the Hobbit movies, but you know, I have a soft spot for them. 
I mean, you've got dwarves riding in barrels. What else do you need? Okay, so when it came to the visuals, it did look pretty good. There were times you could definitely tell this is a Netflix movie. But overall, it looked pretty good. Millie did a good job. I loved her on Stranger Things. I have nothing against her as an actress. She did as well as she could do with what she was given. The makeup team, I definitely have a problem with them. They made her makeup look pretty modern. There were times you could see there was like a cat wing. She had acrylic nails. I mean, I'm pretty sure in medieval times, they weren't shooting arrows and riding horses with acrylic nails. Even if they had the technology to get it done, I'm pretty sure it would have gotten in the way of all the wood chopping and everything that Elodie was doing. So she also had lip gloss on really late into the movie after she's been in the dragon's pit. And even if she did have lip gloss on her, I'm pretty sure while she was running for her life, she wouldn't be stopping and reapplying her makeup. So the second act dragged a bit. It felt like it could have been 10 to 15 minutes shorter overall. And the ending, so spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, but it's been out for a while now. So at the end, she teams up with the dragon and goes to get revenge, which I understand, but she goes on this Daenerys Targaryen season eight rampage against the people and it's high society it's the royals and the people they associate with that did this to her not everybody else and yes she does give people like 10 seconds to run away like the people serving in the castle but I'm pretty sure 10 seconds isn't enough time to escape a city before burning it down and what about all the other people that weren't in the room and didn't get the warning to run away like it seems like all the things they were doing to try to make us sympathize with her yeah I just lost it in that moment but like I said this isn't a movie you're meant to overthink but still it would be nice if they didn't make the main character into a villain in the last five minutes but yeah it's not horrible, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, which isn't saying a lot. It's 6 out of 10 for me. Let me know if you've seen it down below, what you thought of it. Please like, comment, subscribe and you can click here to see more videos.